<clears throat> hello there so i just changed my 12 22 um, cartridge a uh, moin cartridge um, this was the old uh, i started the project around 12 pm and finished about four so a total four hours um, that involved two trips to Lowe's. so first of all taking out uh, the cartridge was not very difficult so it's recommended to have the the puller so my the problem with uh, my um, cartridge was that there was a slight um, water le leakage so about like a uh, one bucket the home depot bucket would uh, be like leaking for over over a course of one day so that was happening for a few days now so in order to solve it, uh, I first ordered all the parts uh, that were needed. Um, and then you will have to have your water shut off uh, up until uh, that point. So uh, make sure we prepare for that. Um, <clears throat> now you're going to order the puller mandatory. Uh, don't attempt without this and this will make your job easier. Um, so the one uh, this one I ordered from Amazon but the screw that it came with was two and a half inch uh, and this would not catch the, uh, uh, the, the this, this was pretty smaller once you inserted it uh, this was just not enough to catch so I ended up going to Lowe's uh, and I got 10-24 by 3 that is uh, 3 inch and this is the thread um, number for it and this is half inch uh, larger. So this is what you're gonna need. So make sure you order this and get this from um, Home Depot um, because this cartridge had this this type of, uh, you know, I don't know, bevel uh, around it. So it, it was not possible to, to catch the thread. So getting the bigger thread, this made the tool easier. So hooked it in use the pliers around it and then pulled uh, the taking out the cartridge was very very easy uh, the the more troublesome part was putting the cartridge back in so when when i inserted this back uh, this wouldn't go all the way in so this this uh, for for the new part this is the old part by the way for the new part it would um, you know uh, so this wouldn't go all the way in it would it would stop here uh, in, in the positemp valve. So I tried so much. I even uh, put this um, and then kind of uh, did like the, this and hammered it sl slightly with another uh, plier. Uh, nothing would go in. Um, so to solve it, I kept uh, brushing uh, the inside and clean it out. So I did this about good amount of time. Uh, I, I run my finger inside the valve um, that there was nothing uh, that is sticking. There were other videos that that uh, that mentioned that the for the new um, cartridge, the the, uh, the bottom piece is uh, slightly bigger. So that was caused the, the the cartridge to not go in all the way in. So what I did is I took the 80 grit uh, sandpaper and I start rubbing it uh, for to, to the new cartridge. This is the old, by the way. So so I kept rubbing. You you see the amount that it removed. So this is the the slight amount uh, that got removed uh, from from the cartridge all around. So I would the, place this and then keep rubbing with a little bit force. Uh, so it kept taking out slight, uh, slightly and I tried again, um, you know, it wouldn't fit. I uh, t t took it out uh, and then um, I kept rubbing uh, for, for a while. Um, and then what I did is after removing some material around, uh, I used the heat gun, uh, put this mouth inside the valve and heat it about two to three minutes. Um, uh, and then after heating uh, for two to three minutes, uh, and I brushed the, the edge, uh, I inserted in uh, and then a gentle tap like this 
uh, around and a tap uh, then the cartridge was the new cartridge was able to go all the way in otherwise the the pin uh, was not able to go around it it would get there would be a gap and then i wouldn't be able to put the pin so these are the the things you're going to need um when you're changing your um cartridge moin cartridge uh, screwdriver puller bigger screws uh, which is 10 24 3 uh, pliers uh, some pick um, again the pliers silicone to reseal the, the the round thing your light and the brush from this is from home depot uh, about like five bucks uh, and uh, the heat so all these tools are mandatory uh, if you are trying to do the job um, yeah best of luck um,